Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. To me, let's move on. Let's talk Heisman Trophy. That's free money. There's not a lot to discuss here. Uh, we got four finalists, two from Ohio State. You got the Jalen Hurts, you know, comeback story. And then you've got the winner, which will be Joe Burrow from LSU. There is no question that Joe Burrow is going to win the Heisman Trophy this Saturday. The only question will be, how much will he win by? I don't think he gets the all-time most points. No, and the reason being is because... There's not as many voters as there used to be. And we let former Heisman Trophy players win this, a vote in this thing. And... Oklahoma's got like eight or nine yeah, of them. Those guys are all, they always do it too. They they fall in line. If you're a Big 12 winner in the past, you're going to vote for the Big 12 guy. And if you're a Big 10 winner in the past, you're going to vote for the Big 10 guys except for the Michigan guys. That's it. Yeah. That's the list. I mean, they're going to fall rank in order. That's going to be it. And some of them may even leave Joe off of their list just as an FU. Tim Tebow, the year that it was Tebow, Bradford, Colt. Yeah. Tebow got left off of everybody's list from the Big Ten and the Big 12 and still came in third, uh, second in that voting. They put Graham Harold from Texas Tech in as the third po- person and left him completely off. If he was voted third by everybody and they said these are the three and you can only vote for these three, he would have won by the largest margin that anybody could win by, that would have been and instead his, he got second, and that would have been his second. Yeah, and they left him off. I find that to be criminal. I find that to be absolutely wrong. This is something. If this award matters at all, you can't do stuff like that. You just shouldn't be allowed. And this is not an L, this is not an LSU Homer thing. I've I, I said it when it happened to Tebow. I wasn't a Tebow guy. I'm not a Florida guy, but it it's it happens. And those are the two conferences that seem to fall in line more than anyone else. Yeah. No, you're right. And you're and it's right. just wrong. If you want to vote for your guy, that's fine. And and if you think that he deserves a nod, that's fine. You can't pick somebody who's not in the conversation and just put him in there because you want to leave this other guy off to maybe hurt him and hurt his votes. The, so I'm with you. He won't get the most points because there's going to be a large portion of the Big Ten and the Big 12, which both of those conferences have the most former winners as well. The So the one thing I think could be in question here would be the most points as a percentage of possible points because I don't know that anybody leaves Joe Burrow off. I, I, I We disagree. I just, I, how about this? I don't think there will be a lot. I, I We're going to disagree. They're all going to be former players. There won't be any writers to do it. I don't think any writers are that big of homers because they have to maintain some sense of credibility. But but if you're a former player and you're a winner, you don't give a crap. Well, but remember, care. Joe Burrow is from Ohio. I mean, he Doesn't played matter. at Ohio State. It does, think... does not matter. I mean, we'll, we'll see. They're we'll going to vote for both the Ohio State guys and one, two, and then they're going to vote for Jalen third. Troy Smith from Ohio State back in 2006 got 2,540 points from 924 voters. Uh, the percentage that year was 91.63% of the possible points. Yep. That is a lot. That's a lot. Uh, after but, that, Marcus Mariota in 2014 got 90.92. That's right. Baker Mayfield got 86%. Uh, Ricky Williams from Texas in 1998 got 85.23. And then Charlie Ward in 1993 got 83.79. Tebow and um, Cam Newton. Absolute unanimous Heisman Trophy winners. Nobody would argue the difference. Well, not, it, it, Cam... Not close. I'm not, I'm not going to toss Cam on there because of the integrity and all that kind of mess, there were people that left him off for that reason. I'm not getting into it. I think he was absolutely the best quarterback, or the best player. Okay, so give me, the t- give me the Tebow reason then. Uh, the Tebow reason, I have no idea. 
because he plays in the SEC, and I'm going to assure you that he was going up against two Big 12 guys. And the Big 10 was like, screw the SEC. We're not voting for them. We're voting for the Big 12 guys as well. Those two conferences line up. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Yeah, after after uh, Charlie Ward, the sixth one was Cam Newton at 81.55%. Uh, but after that, O.J. Simpson, Jameis Winston, Kyler Murray, Desmond Howard, Tony Dorsett, Ron Dane, and then you go all the way down, and Johnny Manziel in 2012 got 72.88. Um, that's kind of crazy. Like, if I mean, it's... Yeah. It's, it happens all the time. Whenever there's a big-time SEC guy, it's, it is kind of so funny. sick of the SEC bias that, that, that's out there, that they, they perceive to be out there, and, and they just stick together. And, it's and, nuts. I mean, it's kind of insane, but, but they just have no standards whatsoever. It's, I'm voting for my guy from my school, and I don't, I don't really care what's happening. And yeah. it's not, like I said, it's not even a thing where I'm not voting for him. I'm not putting him on my ballot. I'm going to leave him off. That's the problem you're going to get. Yeah. Because he's going to be left off every former player that played in the Big Ten except for those Michigan guys. In 2017, there were 929 voters. So I guess that, well, okay, in 2018, last year, 929 voters as well. Um, I am curious. Like, I am curious to see if people are going to be leaving him off uh, because it makes no sense. Because when you've, you've had some transcendent seasons by a few guys, and, and it's as clear as it could possibly be, I, it's still I would, not, I would ask, like, is it big numbers? Has it ever been this clear? I mean, I just, I, I think, I'm sure I there's that, been some years. I think that Cam year, and I think the first Tebow year was about as clear as it gets. Tebow did win it. Yeah, I mean, that, I don't know, I don't know how much more. Clear well, I mean, but that that get. first year that Tebow got it, I mean, that was an eight and four football team, you know, like at All right. or at a whole nine and three, whatever okay. it was. So they were nine and three. Uh, so I could see people, you know, leaving him off like, yeah, if he was so good, why did they lose three times? The I problem is, is all, I don't think a lot of writers left Cam off. You can talk about people had integrity issues. Come on, man. Those no, are, no, I'm, I'm with you. Those but are former players that left him th- off. It, well, there were there were writers and, and former, like, Heisman Trust people, et cetera, that did say after that that they left him off because of the stuff that happened at Florida, and the stuff that was going on with the the scandal with him that season and whatnot. I mean, it was, you know, that was a whole mess. Like, he was obviously the best player in the country that year. Um, and that award is for the best player in the country. But, I mean, I could understand if somebody had problems with it. But I'm not so, pouting. Joe's going to win. Yeah. He's going to win. Burrow because, is going to win this. Because too many writers have a voice, and 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 that's that's where you get people that actually – have integrity and character about the vote. Yeah. So I, I and, do, and if you don't like that, I question their integrity or character of the vote. I I would like them to explain how they voted in the past, and you can easily say if if you just want to vote for your guy, if you think that that you know Jalen is is the better quarterback, that's fine. It's not possible to look at these four guys and leave Joe off the ballot. Yeah, How do you think we got four on the ballot to show up? Well, I think that there is such a massive drop-off from one to two, and there's not that big of a... So what they do is they they take all... Because you can only vote for three people. I know that. They will take the biggest drop-off after a group of people, but the biggest drop-off is from one to two. Yes. So you can't just have Joe show up by himself. There's no TV show there. I get it. So what they do is they will take, and, and that's why it's been only three here lately. But how did I we, think it should be the top five regardless. How did we get the four people? Because Wait. a lot of people left Joe off, which is how you got the other three. Well, not necessarily. I, I, I'm assure you that's how it happened. I mean, it's I, happened. It's happened almost every time an, a big SEC guy has ran away with it. This is this is not a Burrow thing. It's not an LSU thing. This is a history shows us if an SEC guy has a chance to run away with this thing, they're they're just going to find a way to tarnish it as much as they can. Okay. Okay. I'd love to see him be wrong. I'd love to see them actually show him the love that I think he deserves. 
What do you think the uh, – He's the only senior to be up here in a long time. A long time. What do you think the uh, the final standings are for that, that top four? Like, obviously, we think Joe wins. Or we we know Joe wins. I, I think I think I think it's Joe and Jalen because I think the Ohio State guys are splitting all the all the Big Ten votes. All right, so Jalen second place, probably Chase. Fields. You think Fields? Fields? Yeah, Fields. It's a quarterback. It's a quarterback. Yeah, you Award. might be right. Yeah, especially the way that the that only Chase... people I'm telling you, the only people that put Chase in are the Big Ten guys that left Joe off. I'm just telling you're going to see that when you look at the votes. Okay. You're going to okay. see those two guys one, two, and you're going to see Jalen third on a lot of ballots. And you know who was uh, They're all going to come from the Big Ten. You know who came in second that year that Troy Smith won? Darren McFadden. Well, that was back when running backs had a chance to win it. Well, yeah, except that Troy Smith had the largest percentage of points yep. and, and was one of the biggest runaway winners. Um, the margin of victory that year, 1,662. Yep. No, and I think Troy Smith was the clear winner. Like, I don't think I, I liked you. Darren. I think Darren was an explosive player. Yeah. Darren wasn't the best player in football. Yeah. I Are think you? Troy Smith was the best player in football. Yeah, you're probably right there. You're probably right. Smallest margin of victory was 28 points. That was Mark Ingram over Toby Gerhardt. Uh, we won't have to worry about that this year. Uh, Bo Jackson over Chuck Long. Yeah. Bo Jackson. Uh, only knocked out Chuck Long from Iowa by 45 points. Um, after that, I mean, some of these names you just you don't even recognize. It's been so long. <laughs> hey, you you want to know something crazy? Chris Winkie from Florida State beat uh, Josh Heupel from Oklahoma by yep. 76 points. Yep. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of fun stuff. Um, I mean, this is it's been a while since we've had a senior been a very very long while that is just crazy to think about so yeah heisman trophy of course saturday night after the army navy game it'll be on espn fun thanks for checking out winning cures everything if you want to keep up with us hit subscribe on youtube or your favorite podcast app visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on facebook or follow us at winning cures at gary wce or at chris b giannini on twitter share out the show leave a nice review and make sure to comment and tweet at us